Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's discussion is going to be all about some amazing Emacs org mode packages that if you're not using already, you're going to want to use them by the end of this video. Before we get started, if you're interested in some of this Emacs and NixOS content that I've been putting out lately, make sure you're subscribed and you turn on notifications so that you're notified of some of my upcoming videos. Anyways, time to get started. Now we can't talk about org mode without going into an org mode document. So let's do that. I'm going to just open up my notes for this video. The first org extension that I want to talk about is called org modern. And you are seeing org modern on the screen right now. You'll see the difference if I turn it off because this is the default look of org mode. It has a sort of old text-based look to it, which is of course amazing, but org modern adds a few extra details to this, I believe using font lock mode in order to make it look just a little bit more modern. Some of the key details is that it will remove the pound sign plus from a lot of the keywords that we have here, like the title, file tags, and scheduled keywords. It'll also make the to-do keywords like to-do and those like that just pop out like this by having this box-like effect. It also does something sort of similar with the timestamps. It sort of puts them in this little box that you can tell immediately what part of the document is a timestamp. And then lastly, it just adds these cool bullets to the org document, which I think are just an amazing touch that helps this just look that much more aesthetically pleasing. So org modern is definitely for those of us that really like aesthetics. But if we move to the next one here, the next one we got is org download and it sort of does what it says it does. It helps you download things and insert them into your org document and it's really good at handling images. So if I open up a web browser and search for an image related to org mode, maybe the org mode unicorn, that's the mascot. And that's really interesting. We're seeing a bunch of Gundam from Gundam Unicorn. So I think I'll just grab one of those to show in this example. All we have to do in order to copy this image into our org document is copy it into the clipboard and then run the org download clipboard command and it will download the actual image file insert it into the org document as a link and then it'll be displayed here in the org document which is really cool and really handy for taking notes you can do this similarly as well with screenshot utilities. So it's very, very versatile. In a similar vein, we have another package called orgyt, which takes this idea of inserting an image via downloading it to another level. Quick post edit note, I just realized that I'm an idiot. Orgyt's main functionality is actually for embedding YouTube thumbnails inside of Emacs. But I remember now after looking at its associated GitHub repo that you just have to add a few lines into your config that enables this online image viewing functionality. A link to the relevant article explaining this will be in the description below. Instead of actually downloading the image and then inserting a local link into the org document, with this one, you can insert a direct image link to an image on the internet and it will just show the image from the internet on the org mode document without you having to download it locally other than maybe to a cache. And as an example of this one, I'm going to go to another image here, the org mode unicorn. I'm going to try and find the direct link here. So let's see this, this limit image link work. So we have a direct image link. And then if I hit enter on it, you will see that it put the image in the org mode window here but it's not a link to a file, it is still a link to an online image. So these don't necessarily have to take up tons and tons of 
hard drive space, you can just reference an image that is online and then have it appear in your org mode document like so. The next one that we have to talk about is called open with mode. Open with mode isn't necessarily exclusive to org mode, but its integration with org mode is so great and I use it for so many things. It's really good for linking various local files inside of my notes org mode files. So when you insert links to local files in your org mode documents, some of those links are not going to be really behaving the way you want them to. And this is especially the case for certain file types. And I'll turn off open with mode to show you. But for example, here I have this ODT file. It's an open office document file. And if I try to open this link in Emacs normally, it will just open up the archive of that document and show me the raw documents inside of it, which this is not what I was intending to open when I clicked that link. I just wanted to open the ODT file in LibreOffice. This will be the exact same problem for any file type that is not directly plain text. Like for example, Caden Live files will open directly as the XML and then video files, for example, will be in an even worse format where we just get the raw file itself, which is totally not useful. Honestly, I'm waiting for the day that someone goes in and edits their videos in Emacs in this format. I think that would be hilarious, but I also recognize that that's probably impossible. So these kinds of files, it'd be nice to be able to link to them and just open them in their default programs or in a specified program. And that's what open with mode does. So if you have open with mode turned on, you can just click the link and have it open in your specified program like you would expect and want, which is a very, very nice feature for linking to these external files inside of your org mode notes. The next one we have here that is really, really cool is called OB Mermaid. This is referencing an open source tool called mermaid.js. What mermaid.js is, is a diagramming tool where you only need to write some simple markdown and then it converts your simple script essentially into an actual flowchart. To give you some examples, you could make a flowchart. All you would need to do is learn the syntax and then write in what you want the flowchart to be and then the tool converts your quickly written text into these nice diagrams. And there's tons and tons of different kinds of diagrams. I haven't learned even half of these. We got flowcharts, sequence diagrams, class and state diagrams for all you programmers. We got pie charts, quadrant charts, mind maps, timelines, all sorts of things. And it's just really quick and convenient to make these nice looking charts. And inside of Emacs, you can make a source block and have the type of it be mermaid. And then you can output this diagram directly into the org document by evaluating the source block, which is so, so cool. The next one I got to mention is org Rome. And org Rome is going to get its own video because org Rome is just so fantastic. And there's a ton of stuff that you can do with it. But the short story of org Rome is that it allows you to, instead of, it allows you to have a bunch of tiny, tiny org files. And then it has a bunch of tools inside of it that allow very easy linking between those org documents. And it's probably better just to show you another extension on top of org Rome called org Rome UI, which actually allows you to visualize all the links between the notes. If I open this, this is an overview of all of my org notes for my YouTube channel. And you can see that they're all linked together like this. By using a SQL database, org Rome is able to keep track of where all your notes are and which notes have links to other notes, which allows it to make this really cool diagram of 
all of your notes. What you're seeing right now are only my org roam notes for my YouTube channel. I actually have a few of these org roam databases and some of them get to be quite big. And that's what org roam is good at handling is handling a lot of stuff and then helping you visualize how everything relates to each other. Another package that is super cool that integrates really well with org roam, though I don't think you need org roam to use it is called org transclusion. And what org transclusion allows you to do is embed one org mode file inside of another org mode file. So to show you what's going on here, I'll open this linked org mode file. Those are my notes from a previous video. So here they are. And there's this transclusion block in this top org document. And if I turn transclusion on, you will notice that it embeds all the content from this bottom file into this top file. But it actually doesn't end here. You can go to any section inside of the transclusion and you can live edit the transcluded portion so that it updates in both files at once, which is just super, super cool. And another trick you can use up your sleeve in order to organize your ideas and thoughts. Last two we have here actually deal with org agenda. And the first one we have here is org super agenda. I'm going to turn it off just so that we all see my default agenda view, which is something sort of like this. And yours might be similar to this. I did a bit of customizing to get rid of some of the dashed lines and all that stuff, but it's just a plain list of all the tasks I have to do today. But with org super agenda, if we go ahead and turn that back on, you can organize all of your agenda items into nice, neat categories like I have here now. I have things in a today section, which would be like events scheduled for today. I have overdue tasks, family tasks, YouTube tasks, and a few more, which are just not showing up right now because I don't have any tasks in those sections to do today. So that's really cool. It allows you to supercharge your org agenda as they say in their project. And then lastly is a pretty new package called org time block. And this is another agenda viewing package, but instead of having it organize the normal org agenda view that we all know and love, it creates a calendar like view that looks sort of like this. It actually lets you visualize the times that every event is occurring at, and you can even click on any of these things and open up the org file that it is associated with, just like you'd expect to be able to do in your normal org agenda view. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you learned something. I hope I introduced you to an Emacs package that you've never heard of. And I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, please leave a like and please subscribe. And I did a very surface level overview of many of these packages, just sort of showing what they can do, but I didn't really go over how any of them worked. I know all of you can, of course, read the documentation for any of these packages, but if you'd like me to go over one of these packages in more depth, please comment down below and let me know which one you want me to go over in more detail. I'm definitely going to be doing an org roam video pretty soon. But if there's any other ones here that you are really interested in that you want me to do a video on, let me know. So that'll be it then. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.